What up? It's your boy DJ Marcellus though. And in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to add in your pre-existing movers, beams, spots into our sound switch profile. So to get started, we want to go ahead and minimize our wash light folders to the right. It should be a blue one and a green one. Um for wash light group and wash light group 1 and 2. Uh we don't need those right now. Uh we need our mover folders so we're going to minimize this main track as well just to show a little bit more on the screen to consolidate the movers inside of our folders we press the folder icon now we want to go ahead and do that for mover group one and mover group two to consolidate those fixtures inside of that folder so we can just see both of the folders now when adding in the fixtures, you come up here, you can search for the company and you can search for the fixture name. Now, if you don't have your fixture inside of SoundSwitch, you can reach out to SoundSwitch directly, uh, send them the DMX address and what each channel does, and they will add in the fixture for you. So in this demo, we're going to use the American DJ in those spots as we used to use these in our main setup. So we're going to do the spot pearls just to show a difference from the spots that I already have in our program. So you want to drag one spot into each group. Uh, as DJs, we operate in twos. So you want to think of it as a left group and a right group or one group and a two group. Once those fixtures are added, then we want to make sure that the DMX address is correct. So we're going to come up to the top and click on DMX address. Now we're gonna look for those NO spot pearls here. So I'm gonna move this NO spot pearl for the sake of the demo down here to 289, and then we're gonna put this one on 303. Now once we assign our DMX channels for our new fixtures that we just added, we also wanna assign the group uh, for the fader. So I got all the movers mapped to group two for the fader on the control one, for you to adjust your brightness of your fixtures on the fly at the event, you still want that to happen with your new fixtures you just added. So you want to add that into group two. And if you do plan on auto scripting some of your songs, I would advise making that secondary mover mover secondary. Um, so now once you set your group, you made your movers to mover secondary and mover primary, and you set your channels. You're done on this screen. We're going to go ahead and click done. Now, for the most part, your movers are done and good to go. The last thing we will need to do is set in the positions. So we're going to click in this basic folder here, and you just need to copy over these eight positions. You don't even necessarily need to have your lights set up to do this. It's going to be pretty simple. So first, we want to click into a position, and we want to scroll down and search for our new spots. So here, we got our new NO Spot Pros uh, that we're going to add into the software. Now, you can do pan tilt in the software, or you can do pan tilt um, on the device. Me personally, I do it on the software, but if your movers aren't looking right, just do it on the device and it will fix that for you. So we're going to go ahead and select both and just copy it with the colors here in the first quadrant. And we can go ahead and go down to all of these. We're going to copy it. And you see how this is separated between two? Then we're just going to copy the colors. So we're going to click on the green one and put the green one all the way over here at the far. And we're going to copy the blue one and put the blue one all the way ahead at the far. So we're going to continue doing these for all of our movers. And we are done adding in our movers. So if you come down here and click on the A in the bottom right and click on a s auto loop and click the play icon. If you got your lights connected, you should see your movers are now working and moving um, to our pre-programmed software. 